All right, welcome back to NTV's Good Life. We're punching your ticket for the passport program. Very happy to have Mike and Mark joining us today. What are we doing? Talk a little bit about well, what. Well, what we're doing here is this is the pour over method, which is the original way the coffee was prepared before we went into all the automatic, like Mr. Coffee style machines. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so this has taken a resurgence back into the high end coffee houses. So what it is is. Uh, it's individually crafted one cup at a time. This is how we make our coffee in our factory shop in Oshkosh. Okay. So we have a full espresso bar so you can get all your espresso drinks, hot iced or blended. But if you want a cup of coffee, we feature 100% Hawaiian uh, grown Kona coffee and we brew it individually for you um, when you come in to order. And so really what we've done is it's taking it back to the original way that coffee was uh, brewed, where the operator has all the control to pour the hot water okay. and control the, um, the amount of water going through so that it doesn't over or underdevelop the cup. Okay, so how, how many how amount of beans that are in there? Well, we're, we, we base our, our pours on a 12 ounce cup. Okay. And so we put about three, or I'm sorry, four of our tablespoons um, inside, um, inside here, and we'll go ahead and do that. So, now. what's the benefit of doing it this way versus? Let's turn this around too. Oh yeah. Way. yeah. Well, the benefit of brewing like this is, if you, when you use like a Mister Coffee or or a regular uh, automatic pour or a, sorry, machine, the coffee, the hot water just follows its least amount of resistance through the bed of ground. So it doesn't totally saturate the bed the way that we're going to do by, hand, by okay. hand here when we... So what we want to do first is we just simply take our uh, gooseneck tea kettle and we're just going to saturate the grounds. And you can really smell that. Oh yeah. This is, mm. this is a, a beautiful coffee. It has a, a very nutty wine-like and chocolate-like um, character to it. Oops. So just like you steep tea, we let the water bloom with the grounds. Here. So all the grounds are going to become wet in about 30 seconds here. Oh, wow. And you will get a little bit of dripping out, but um, after just a bit, we'll speed it up a little bit just so that we can get going. But usually about 20 minutes or 20 seconds, then you would continue to do the pour. Mike, talk a little bit about the, the different products you brought with you over there. Yeah, you know, actually, so we sell the products online with at markferrycoffee.com. Uh, also, you can get our app if you just search for Pure Kona. Okay. Get our app, another way to shop. Or, of course, we'd really like to see in the retail shop in Aishkaish, the coffee factory. Um, and this is a product that we offer um, on Amazon. It's a two pound bag of Pure Kona. A great seller. It's awesome coffee. That's what we're having today. Okay. And then here's some other packaged coffees that we offer. And this is a smaller bag of our Pure Kona, which that's what we're known for. That's what we specialize in. Okay. And um, we also have flavored coffees, um, creme brulee, uh, which is our most popular nationally. Okay. So we do other other signature blends where we use Central South American coffees and blend with our cone on some of ours, like for our espresso, okay. just to kind of give a really nice character and balance. Why are you just... Yeah. So what... what, you, what <laughs> well, I just... Is it just a... Yeah, it's, it's, it, a it's the process it's that makes technique. it taste good? Okay. So we're doing um, little pinwheels uh, and controlling the pour so that it creates a turbulence inside this <laughs> ceramic, that and it totally develops all of the coffee. Nice. And then with the dripping here into the cup, it actually aerates it a little bit too. So it is fantastic brewed this way. And what's nice too is that high-end restaurants and um, different espresso shops, they can still carry their regular coffee or their espresso, but we offer this system or even a twin where if they want to bring our product in and feature a premium coffee, they can brew it one cup at a time for their customers. Nice. It's a great addition. Well, yeah. Because sometimes people are limited on what coffees you're they the can coffee even. Drinker. Yeah. yeah. Are we going to give you a little cream yeah, and sure. sugar on this? Just I know. I'm curious. Do I'm you actually... like a black or cream and sugar? Or? Um, we'll have some cream and sugar. Okay. All right. We'll get you all set up here. So, where are you guys located for those that are taking a passport? And I don't even think you even need to be on the passport to just make it just kind of a destination, like you said. So you'll find <laughs> us in Oshkosh, Nebraska. Okay. Highway sure. 26, 
two blocks off of Highway 26. In fact, we're really easy to find because we have a windmill just from the ranch that is basically a Hawaiian windmill. So we have a local artist in town, very talented, Lauren Olson, and it's a beautiful windmill. So you can see us from She afar. painted the blades with um, palm fronds. Uh, art and the uh, the tail with Hawaiian style flowers like nice. hibiscus. So I know where Bree's going this weekend. <laughs> I know road trip. Now this Pasha. is a little warm, so okay. let, it, let it temper a little bit. If you guys okay. want more information on the passport program, well, you can always go to um, the Nebraska Tourism Commission. They have all the information there. And stop at any one of those locations. There's 80 on this stop, but I know some people are kind of finishing them up. And these guys are so famous, they come from the Netherlands. Thank you guys for being with oh us. We appreciate goodness. it. Thank you for Thanks joining for us. Thank you. And thank you. thank you. Amazing. Awesome. I feel like I'm in I'm Hawaii. So. First place. If you haven't, the, if you <laughs> haven't seen it. Hawaiian grown Nebraska roast. Oh, right. we love it. If you haven't started, this is a good place to get started. Thank you guys. Thank, thank you. you. We're coming Thanks back with more of NTV's Good Life after this. We're celebrating National Hot Dog Day right after this. <laughs>